we want you to join us as we're going to do it. Please get your mats and make sure you make yourself ready to straight on your mats. This exercise as well will affect the lower part of the tummy here. And we want you to have good body and sound mind. We want you to, we want you to get rid of the fat you are carrying all about all this one. Okay, you drop your leg. Drop your leg, drop it. Okay, your right leg back now. You can see the leg fully stretched at the back. Knee locked and the toes pointing straight back. Okay, you bring it back. All right, you change to the other leg. You can see the leg fully stretched, fully stretched. If you are not feeling it at the hamstring here, you are not doing it. If you are not feeling it at the calf here, you are not doing it. And as well, you must feel, you have to feel it at the at the lower back, at the lower part of the abdomen there, the lower down there. You must feel it there. Okay, now you bring it down. So now we are getting straight ten from the left leg, straight ten. All right, your ten there. One, fully straight. Thank you, back. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, from the other leg now, another ten. Please, I want you to stretch your leg very well at the back. You feel it at the hamstring. You are feeling at the thighs as well. You feel it at the calf and the toes pointing straight. You can see the toes pointing straight at the back. Okay, you bring it down. All right, back. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me call, let me just correct the mistake from this activity there. By the time he takes his leg out, he's bringing the knee back to the floor. Down, 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 down. Just bring it down, down, down. The knees on the floor, back. The knees on the floor. So this time around, when you take it out, you are not bringing the knee back to the floor. The knee halfway without getting to the floor. You hang it there and you bring it back. Okay, let me have that now. One, thank you. So your leg fully stretch at the back. Fully stretch. Thank you. Three. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, from there we change to the other leg. You can see how we stretch it out. We are getting rid of the fat at the glute up here. The fat at the glute up. The fat at the thighs, the fat at the hamstring, the fat at the calf, and the fat in the lower in the in, in our legs. So that's what we are trying to do this morning. Okay, are you counting? How many now? Five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Thank you very much. How was that? Fine. Are you feeling it at all? Yes. Are you feeling it at the top at the half here? Yeah? Yes. Okay, you should feel it. We are doing it very well. I I know you well. You got to feel it very well. This time around. Same exercise, but a little bit modification to it. Same exercise, I call it, but a little bit modification to it. Now we are going to stretch your left leg back. Now you stretch your right hand. Fully stretch at the back. You look up. All right. How was that? Please, I want you to try that as well at home. Get on your mat. Your knees on the floor. Two pounds there. Stretch your right leg and the left hand out there. Okay, I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, thank you very much. Now you change. Fully out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thank you very much. You can see the leg pointing straight and the hand wall fully stretched at the, at the front there. Okay, you get it one more time. Out. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from the other side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. Now with this, you are also getting the balance fitness as well. That's another component in fitness, your balance. Many cannot even get it. When you stretch it out this way, they tend to be shaking. No, oh, that's not good for you, honey. Stretch it out. Get your balance. You have to maintain your balance. You can see my legs pointing straight and the hands out there. So, my dear brother, this time around, we are going to alternate the hands and the legs together. You get it this way. One, change, two. Like that. Okay? Let's go. One. 
and you can see the balance all right you start it all over again you can get your balance too thank you three four five six seven eight nine and ten go that's it that's it you can get as many ten this is another ten now we've gotten like three ten now now make it 30 and we're going to 60 this time around now i told you we, are, we have to step it all a little bit we can't continue to get it 10, 10, 5, 5 at the same time again. No, no, no. We are stepping up. We are getting improved fitness. So we need to step up the exercise as well. Okay, now we've got it 30 from the 60. Now we are looking for the last 30. Now yeah, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright? So that makes it 40. You know, I told you we are looking for 60. Okay, the, last, the next 10, the next 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright, 50. Okay, the last 10. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. one one and one all right that's good so you can see now we've got to 60 abdominal walk okay all right stand up stand up thank you very much how was that where are you feeling it just let them know where are you feeling it the lower back the lower back the side the, okay the lower abdominal yeah okay the your, your right side and right side there where are they again you're not feeling it there I do feel it that's what i want to Thank you very much. It's good for you. All right. If you are at home, I want you to repeat it as many as you can. You don't force yourself. When you're tired, you pause. You breathe in from the nose, out from your mouth. And then you rest like 20, 30 seconds. It's okay for you. And make sure you get back to it. Please. Please. And if you are feeling uncom uncomfortable with it, you have to stop for today. You have to stop for today. Please. Tomorrow is another day. You can join us in doing the exercise. All right. From here. Let me leave this. You can see still on the floor walk today. Okay? Alright. Alright, alright. I want to know if you can go to do this. Alright, I'm up. You can see. Alright, you can get your mask. Get the mask there. You can only use the floor. Don't get your mask. You know what I'm waiting for you. You can get your mask as well. Or if you have a small mattress that you can use, you can use it as well. Just make sure you make yourself comfortable and you are putting on nice sports clothing. Nice sports clothing, your canvas and your shirt or your shirt like this. So that will make you more comfortable. All right, up. So when you come up, you bring your knees to the head over there. Back, you change this up. Thank you. Now we go. One, two, three, four. Daddy, my uncle, my sister, my brother at home, I tell you, good air doesn't just come to you. Good body doesn't just come to you. You have to encourage yourself, you motivate yourself, you keep on joining Keep It program every morning, and I bet it, we are going to get better body and sound mind as well. Okay, thank you. Are you counting there? Yes. Okay. Okay, from there, we're moving to this. Come up, you bring the two legs to yourself. One, right, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so that's another ten of another different kind of floor routine. Okay, all right, before we go today, let me just give you this. All right, the two legs up. Now we're bringing the fingers to the toes there. All right, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's keep it. It's good for me and you. Thank you for joining us. 
Join us tomorrow on the same program, same time, and on same TV. Thank you very much. We love you. around the world to produce refined sugar. Sugarcane juice are medicinal products for a range of illnesses. Many types of sugarcane products are made from sugarcane, including refined white sugar, brown sugar, and molasses. Sugarcane is not fruit nor a vegetable. It is a type of perennial grass like bamboo. Sugarcane store its sugar in the stem, also known as cane, which makes them sweet. Sugarcane a giant grass thrives in a warmest climate, storing sugar in its stock. The sugar beet grows best in a temperature climate and store its sugar in its white roots. Sugar from both sources is produced by nature in the same fashion as all green plants produce sugar as a means of storing the sun's energy. Sugarcane stalks are made up of mostly water and sugar and are crushed to extract sweet juice which is processed into sugar. About three quarters of sugarcane grown and processed into sugar is used to make bread, canned fruits, beverages, cake, candies, cereal, ice cream, and other favorite foods. Sugarcane is propagated primarily by planting of cotton dissection of the stalks of immature cane used for planting, which are known as seed cane or cane sets, and have two or more buds. Seed cane is planted in well-worked fields. Mechanical planters that open the pure fertilize drop the seed cane and cover it with soil. Another method of cane propagation is by ratooning, in which when the cane is harvested, a portion of stalk is left underground to give rise to a succeeding growth of cane. The ratooning process is usually repeated three times so that three economical crops are taken from one original planting. The yield of ratoon crops decreases after each cycle and at the end of the last economical cycle, all storms are plowed out and the field is replanted. Sugarcane can grow in various types of soil, sandy, loamy, and clay soil, as well as both acidic and alkaline soil. It is a vegetatively propagated in order to ensure consistent cultivar characteristics. Planting is usually the most expensive procedure in the growing season. Talk section called billet, set or seed piece containing one or more boards are usually planted in late summer. Summer, rooting and developing into a stand over winter. During this time, the rooting plants are very vulnerable to rot and predation and are thus often sprayed with insecticide and fungicide before being placed in the seed bed. Sugarcane can take between 9 to 12 months to harvest depending on the climate. There is one harvest of the primary crop and then 3 to 4 harvests of the real growth. A cane harvester is used to cut down the full stalks and cut them into smaller sections. The harvester is trailed by a cane, hollow which collects the billet. This sugarcane plant produces a number of stalks 
that reach 3 to 7 meters, 10 to 24 feet high, and bear long sword shaped leaves. The stalks are composed of many segments, and at each joint there is a bud. When the cane becomes mature, a growing point at the upper end of the stalk develops a slender arrow, bearing a tassel of tiny flower. Fertilizers are applied to sugarcane from the beginning of planting through the whole growth cycle, but not during the ripening period. To secure a good crop, Weeds in the cane feed must be attacked until the cane tools develop a good canopy, which checks weed growth. The mature cane is harvested by both manual and mechanical means. So mechanical harvesters are able to survey and discuss the top of a red scrub and cut cane stalks. My name is Rashida Mukhtar. Sugar cane is ancient and traditional whereby there are various ways of using sugarcane. One of the usefulness of sugarcane is for praying towards a particular reason or to figure out something. We can use sugarcane for anything. As a matter of fact, sugarcane has its own health benefit. For instance, sugarcane can be recommended as treatment measures to some certain infection or sickness. Sugarcane has no specific time or season for harvestation, but when it is rainy season, we are not privileged to harvest as much as we can due to the swampiness of where it is being cultivated. We only get much harvest in the dry season when there is no more rain. Sugarcane is not specifically for anyone. It is meant for both adults and children. Sugarcane is easy to grow, easy to harvest, and easy to process into something that is delicious. It's comprised of stalk, leaves, and a root system. The stalks contain the juice used to make sugar and is broken up in segments called joints. Sugarcane plants are of different varieties black or red sugarcane, green sugarcane, green yellow sugarcane plants. Sugarcane is rich in antioxidants, so it helps fight infection and boosts the immunity. It is rich in iron, magnesium, calcium, and other electrolytes, so it is great for dehydration. It helps cure the common cold and other infections, and also fights fever as it boosts the body's protein level. Sugarcane is full of antioxidants that are essential to building and maintaining a healthy immune system. Antioxidants helps combat free radicals that can worsen several medical problems like diabetes, malaria, and skin cancer. My name is Aziz Morufat. I sell sugarcane. It is not that sugarcane is really beneficial to the body. Sugarcane is more or less snacks that is taken before eating a normal food. Sugarcane is also used traditionally. It is one of the requirements in a traditional marriage and also freedom graduation ceremony. Moreover, sugarcane is very useful for varieties of things. It is being used as one of the ingredients to treat infections or diseases. Therefore, it is medicine. Sugarcane is attacked and damaged by various insects that bore into and feed on the different parts of the plant. The insect parts are responsible for some of the greatest crop uses is the gray back beetle in its larva stage. Rats, which destroy part of the stalk, are controlled by poisoning and trapping. Chewing on sugarcane or consuming sugarcane water or syrup can help treat urinary tract issues and provide a boost of antioxidants along with providing benefits to pregnant women and diabetic patients. Sugarcane has diuretic properties that can help re remove excess salt and water to help the kidneys function properly. Although sugarcane is often associated with weight gain, consuming some sugarcane can boost your metabolism and moderate weight gain in pregnant women. Diabetic patients are urged to choose direct sugarcane diabetes over refined sugar sugars to help regulate their glycemic index. Sugarcane molasses concentrate has been found to lower glucose and inhibit the production of insulin. Sugarcane can also be consumed as a purgative to help treat high blood pressure. As sugar production has grown across the world, scientists have warned that the overconsumption of this substance, especially refined sugar, can lead to several health issues. Sugarcane crop thrives best in hot, sunny, tropical areas. The ideal climate for sugarcane is a long, warm growing season with a high incidence of solar radiation and adequate moisture in the soil. Areas with high rainfall and good irrigation are best suited for sugarcane cultivation. On a hot, sunny day, sugarcane juice is undoubtedly one of the best ways to quench your thirst and to beat the summer heat. However, there is much more to this tasty tropical fruit than just its yummy taste. 
Sugarcane is loaded with carbon hydrate, protein, vitamins, and also contain good amount of minerals like phosphorus, calcium, potassium, zinc, iron, belonging to a grass family. Sugarcane is easy to grow anywhere and is available at very cheap prices. The stem is an excellent source of sugarcane and is very nutritious. Peel the outer portion off with your teeth or knife and eat the sugarcane growth. Sugarcane is very vibrous, which makes it hard to cut and squeeze out the juice. It must be chewy and chewy until every bit of sweetness from the sugarcane is extracted and then spilled the pop out. Elephants love sugarcane and it is also a significant part of their diet plan. Sugarcane is one of the favorite food of elephants. <music> to welcome you to this wonderful moment of inspiration. My name is Ola Sodi Oladapo, and last week we began to have a beautiful time. I believe that this week we would have another wonderful five minutes and at the end of the day you will be encouraged, inspired and motivated to take the next step to your journey to greatness. To move further from last week, I want you to get a mirror and make sure you are comfortably seated while we are at it. Thank you for obliging me. Now I want you to take a long gaze at the mirror and memorize the image that you're seeing. to welcome you to this wonderful moment of inspiration. My name is Ola Sodi Oladapo, and last week we began to have a beautiful time. I believe that this week we would have another wonderful five minutes and at the end of the day you will be encouraged, inspired and motivated to take the next step to your journey to greatness. To move further from last week, I want you to get a mirror and make sure you are comfortably seated while we are at it. Thank you for obliging me. Now I want you to take a long gaze at the mirror and memorize the image that you're seeing. You see, I'm saying this because I want to say some extremely important things about the image in the mirror, and I don't want you to miss a word of it. Are we ready? Thank you very much. You see, the person you are gazing at in the mirror, which is you, is the most perfect and most beautiful example of creation. The person you see in the mirror is the best thing that ever happened to humanity. Let me say it this way for those who believe in God. You are looking at the most perfect, complete, and unblemished image of God. By now, some of you are thinking, is this guy serious? Yeah, I'm talking about you, and I'm dead serious. I mean every word of it. In fact, if you were never born, the world will not recover from the loss. There is something unique about you and in that thing lies the salvation of the world. I know you're thinking about your flaws right now, but my friend, greatness is not the absence of flaws. Rather, it is beauty and productivity despite flaws. Every great man that you have ever lived on earth, every great man that ever walked this sphere of life came with one flaw or the other. And they didn't let that flaw hold them back from doing the things they need to do to achieve greatness. Greatness is also growth based on improvement on flaws. So the fact that you have a flaw does not disqualify you from greatness. It just means that despite your flaws, you can be great if you continually, continually work on your flaws and get better 
every day. So greatness is beauty and productivity, despite your flaws, one. Greatness is also growth based on improvement on flaws, too. Also, you may be doubting due to your numerous challenges, but I tell you that your challenges are mere opportunities to express the greatness within you. Except a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. Challenges, temptations, strife, tough times, they serve as the breeding ground for great men. You may have failed before. I tell you, failure is just but a minor hitch on the long journey to greatness. Remember, we've been saying that greatness is a journey and this journey is a marathon. It is not a sprint. So when you have minor hitches, when you have challenges, it doesn't mean the journey is ending. It means that the journey can continue despite your challenges. Even if you are falling, never forget that there is no glory except in rising where one has previously fallen. As amazing and far-fetched as these statements are, they are true concerning you. However, you need to fight to maintain these truths in your heart. You need to fight in your heart to keep believing these truths regardless of your present circumstances. This is because these truths provide you power to understand, celebrate, and maximize your uniqueness. Thus, you are able to unleash the uncommon flavor of greatness within you. Many cut short their journeys to greatness by comparing themselves with other people. Worse still, other people compare themselves with societal standards and give up because to them, they fall short of these standards. My dear friend, I want to tell you, don't fall for this trap. That no one has done it before does not mean it's impossible. That the world has not seen it before does not mean it doesn't exist. I want to tell you something I don't want you to forget. The only real limit to your greatness lies in what you believe Never forget, you are a masterpiece. Break off every mental limit today. Go ahead and do the impossible because you can. I, I'm glad that I've been able to come to you and I believe that this message has inspired you to do the impossible. So till I come your way next week, I want to say a big thank you to our producers and I want to say never forget, you are meant for the top. Thank you. Good morning, viewers out there.
thank God it's another Friday and we're happy that we're here. Yes, uh, we discussed of uh, means of communication and uh, when we talk of communicating, we'll talk of the radio, we talk of the television and um, we talk of the print media. Added to this recently is the social media. And since the emergence, we have seen a lot of things coming on that platform. And uh, in transmitting information, what we say in communication is it must be done in a way that the information is accessible and attractive. The question we're going to ask ourselves is how much of this accessibility, how much of this attractiveness do we attach to information we pass via social media platform? We'll talk of fake news we we'll talk of originality. So these are some of the things we'll be looking at on this platform this morning. And I have with me in the studio an analyst. Yemi Padiru is his name. He is a regular face on this program and some other programs of this corporation. So it's my honor and privilege welcoming you to the studio this morning. Thank you, sir. My own name is Olasu Komi Oyebayo. And uh, before I go to anything, let me just uh, bring our palms together again to congratulate you on your birthday today. Thank you, sir. I wish you many more of it. Amen, sir. Thank you, sir. You shall live well to enjoy all that we have labored for. Amen. Thank you, sir. Social media as a platform of passing information, what will you say about it? Uh, well, I want to especially uh, say that um, uh, social media has brought the world closer. Okay. Uh, it's more or less like we are in a community now. You are somebody that is even outside the shore of your country. Mm. You can easily interact with the person unlike before. Unhindered. Unhindered. Okay. In fact, it's, so f it's faster than making calls. Okay. You can post a picture, you can post a news now uh, as in a, an information now mm. and someone in another continent can easily view it and respond almost immediately. So it's just uh, like every other means of disseminating information oh, sure. or every other means of communication. Okay. So that's social media. Yeah, it's another means I, uh, like I initially mentioned we have the radio. Exactly. We have the television. Exactly. We can go via the print media platforms. Exactly. And uh, you just said that it has brought the entire world together. Exactly. Now, if we see the content, because we are content driven here. Exactly. Coming here this morning, it has been designed that, oh, for this number of minutes, mm. This is what you're going to discuss. And that is what we are doing now. It has been scheduled. After this program, we have another one, we have another one, we have another one. But the question we are asking now is about the content. How have we been able to manage our content via social media? That's the question now. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I will want to say that um, uh, a lot has not been done in the aspect of content management okay. on social media. In fact, everyone, whether trained journalist or trained, or let me say unskilled, <laughs> oh, everyone believe that they can post anything as, as it comes to their mind. We are all now journalists. journalists. <laughs> we are yeah. now all authors. Authors, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, and um, 
uh, whether they are verifiable, whether they are verified news or unverified one, mm. everything is just flying. In fact, uh, events that have not happened, some people will sit down in the corner of the house. Ah, they are killing people there. Oh, ah, they are burning houses there. Oh. I learned of a lady that was uh, arrested, I think, in a go in Ogun State, somewhere in Ogun State, mm -hmm. of recent. They sat in her room and said, Ah, they have taken over. Oh, they are using a one, 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 one complete building. Oh, this and that. You know, this and that. So many things. So it has become like uh, a, 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 a difficult, uh, a, a difficult. Uh, uh, aspect of the communication that uh let me say an aspect of communication that is difficult to manage manage okay so that's just we are here i know for sure officers of the national broadcasting corporation who has been assigned to monitor this station must be on duty now exactly sir. monitoring us mm. taking careful recognition of every word that we're going to use exactly. or that we have used. Exactly, if after this program, maybe per adventure, we, 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 we say something, mm. we call it not to be broadcast. Mm. Mm. Now, if we put any material like that on air, mm. before noon, I'm sure, a letter will land on the table of my chief executive mm. Mm. informing him that one of his boys mm. Mm. did this, did this, mm. and did this. Mm. Mm. And possibly it could earn the station a warning. Mm. Mm. And otherwise, or otherwise rather, mm. it could earn the station a fine. Mm. If it's more grievous, will might be asked to go off air mm. Mm. maybe for a number of days or hours mm. Mm. this is monitoring mm. Mm. social media now has remained something that we've not been able to manage mm. and if it continues the way it's going mm. there are probably going to be a problem mm. So are we going to do it? Uh, I honestly, you have asked a very big question, and uh, the honest answer is it's going to be a very difficult thing uh, to monitor. Uh, this issue you are bringing up uh, something uh, uh, it, it relates, as in, a, let me say, and a, a good example of it is what happened to the president via Twitter. Tweet, okay. Sometimes they go, and um, you know, uh, he just said something, and then uh, they just uh, they just uh, reacted and blocked him. Uh. But uh, even as they are doing that, by by uh, by the way of God, I am on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook, I'm mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. Some of these things are uncontrolled. There are millions of people that are users of this. For instance, Facebook. You see a lot of and Facebook is even well managed. Go to Twitter. Oh God. Go to you see abuses here and there. People we you know ever you even see people you know with nude pictures, you understand? Posting them immediately as in people don't see it as they believe that they can do anything as they like. Now of course, government is trying because something like something happened last week or two weeks ago. Government gave a directive that all these social media uh, platforms exactly should pull down nude pictures or contents that are not, uh, you know, that were issued without are not good for the hair exactly okay. or that were issued without the express permission of of the the victim. Okay. Now, and I think it's a good direction. But I wonder if such will still resolve the issue or solve the problem. Because there are millions of people. I don't know how they want to manage. I don't know. For instance, on my Facebook platform, I have 5,000 friends. 5,000? 5, yes, sir. I have 5,000 friends. And there are people... Do you know them one by one? No. 
<laughs> no, I only know a few people keep saying if I if I if I if I if I if I delete or let me say if I unfriend mm. twenty now mm. before the next one hour more than twenty will have asked for my uh, for my friendship. So and that's what many people are confronted with. And I people there are so many people with different intentions on social media. And uh, you know, just to limit myself to what you have uh, asked, mm. the fact is that I don't believe it's my own opinion that that it can be social media can be controlled. Listen, now we are here. Yes. Our video, our picture is passing through the NNDRO magnetic platform there. Yeah. Somebody sitting down behind it. Yes, sir. The cameraman is standing in front of him. Okay. The man in the audio, the man in the visual there, mm -hmm. they are the one in charge. Okay. Yeah. If there is anything that we are doing mm. or we are saying here mm. that they feel Mm. That's not good. Mm. They have mm. the control of the body. Exactly, you're right. right. So also is the, social the owner of this platform. Mm. Mm. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I am thinking. Mm. Mm. If the federal government says mm. all new pictures mm. should be pulled up, mm. giving instructions mm. to the owner of this. Mm. platforms mm. and that is to say mm. that if this and this mm. are on the way coming mm. Mm. there should be a check and balances you're right you're right you're right, you're right. that's what i'm saying you're right you're right and i agree with and you. individually mm. Mm. i think we have a job to do exactly so let's look at an individual users of this mm. platform mm. Mm. I cannot say it because mm. I have an opportunity to see that in the studio here yeah, start abusing my God. Yeah, it's not possible. Mm. Mm. So, you, you, you want to talk about individuals mm. using this platform. Mm. You, you, you use the word intention. Mm -hmm. yes, my intention of mm. coming on the platform, mm. your intention of coming on the platform. Mm. Can you talk about our intentions of coming on the platform? Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Uh, like I said earlier, our intentions vary. Uh, I like being practical and being real. Mm. Um, some years ago, when I was working at uh, Abekuta, mm -hmm. that year, I, that should be about three or four years ago, I discovered that um, I was, uh, you know, uh, receiving some. Uh, Friendship uh, request. request. So I accepted. But all of a sudden, I discovered that uh, uh, some of them, uh, two particular ladies, then mm. one of them was like, uh, okay, Please, I, okay, uh, now that we are friends, mm. I wish we see. Mm. I, can I come around? Uh, this and that. You know, I was under prayer. Okay. I want us to take this friendship beyond this uh, <laughs> on another level. You know, I, and you know, later on I discover. Mm. Father, was the day I was uh, careless. Yeah. I asked one, okay, come around. As she was like, uh, you know, I have to, I have to uh, take a flight. Mm. Uh, she didn't know that. I knew that there was no flight. Around that time, at Ibadan, landing at Ibadan airport, <laughs> and I landed at Ibadan airport, and so I want to go. Um, I, I now I just said I should just come and see you to know you. Mm -hmm. So um, I will need money for flight, mm -hmm. and then apart from that, um, I also know that uh, uh, where with your status, mm -hmm. uh, you know the status viewed from mm -hmm. social media, but mm -hmm. with the status. You should be able to open a very big shop for me. I never open shop for my mommy. 
know, you know, I later I started understanding our intention. Okay. Now, when I said, let's take this thing one after the other, yeah. she flew. I ask you of your own intention as well. Yes, sir. I'll answer. <laughs> I'll because say, yes, she has her own intention. Exactly. What are your own intentions? intentions? Yes. When I, for instance, when I wanted to, uh, when I just uh, joined uh, Facebook, mm. my intention is to be an instrument of use for a better, as in a, to help the upcoming generation. You know, avoid facing a bleak future never anticipated about. Okay. The reason why I'm on social media mm. is just to help my visions and mission. In fact, if you do you have an NGO? Yes, sir. Okay. And what's the focus of your NGO? Um one is to we I have three projects. Mm -hmm. One is to help children from broken home. homes, okay? Or uh, from a, a, a poor background, okay, to achieve success on in that vulnerable, so helping the vulnerable, okay? exactly. And I believe is that irrespective of where we were born mm. or how we were born, mm. we can be successful. Okay, that success is just the application of four cardinal D's: good intention, yes, decision, mm. determination, mm. discipline, mm. and diligence. Okay, so and it has nothing to do with. Uh, where we are born up. Now, now, now the person saw all those things. Yes, sir. And what do you observe? Your body sign of four. Uh, that's why I said I was careless. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was careless. So. <laughs> you know, uh, on, on, honestly, mm. anybody following me, yeah. for instance, on WhatsApp, on uh, Facebook, yeah. even on WhatsApp, they know that I. I have not deviated from the course. Okay. Because virtually, day by day, I post something relevant. So that, like for instance, there is a passion that I, one of the one of one one other NGO mm. uh, because I have three. In fact, this particular one was what uh, was uh, what gave me Osho State Government Award okay. in 2006. Um, this one we mobilize the younger Nigerians, especially students, mm. to rise up pray and act to save our nation from drifting down the dark abyss okay we believe that we can god can use us to save our great nation with a great future now, now now we are talking about uh intentions of participants exactly on the social media now participants on the right exactly sir. Intentions of participants on the line. Exactly, sir. And oftentimes, we see conflict of intentions. Eh? Exactly, sir. And I want to ask again that some people are so good at manipulating computers. Exactly, sir. Right, sir. We are here now. They are hearing our voices, looking at our faces. But they can remove this head <laughs> and go and bring somebody yes, sir. and put another head yes, sir. Mm. and put another head there mm. Mm. and the two heads will be talking mm. Mm. and they will tell the whole world that you see them mm. 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 or they will see an ice cream boy mm. riding his own cards mm. about mm. they will go and bring somebody's head somewhere and put it there mm. and say, oh, mm. <laughs> he not us an ice cream boy. Mm. Mm. That intention mm. is a sort of blasphemy. Mm. Mm. Is a sort of mm. reducing individual. Mm. Mm. Is a sort of mm. calling a dog a bad name. So as to hang it. So Let's dwell more on intentions of participants. You're right, sir. You're right, sir. Mm. Eh? Mm. Maybe somebody was caught in Edo mm. sleeping with another man's wife. Mm. And because he was caught, 
he was asked to remove his shirt and trousers. Mm. And another person mm. in Oshun mm. that they feel like dealing with, mm. maybe they have the same look, mm. they will remove that man's head mm. and put this man's head. Mm. And they will now say, mm. and before you know it, somebody will say, oh, this event happened in 2013. Mm. 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 I saw this video mm. 10 years ago. Mm. Intentions of posting such mm. is counterproductive. Mm. So I'm asking you now, talk to individuals mm. who operate mm. on social media. Mm. What kind of intention do they bring up? Mm. Thank you, sir. I Before I will answer your mm. question, sir, I discovered that uh, the reason why uh, many persons are on social media, mm. uh, you know, differs. And one of such is when some people are depressed, when they feel that the world does not care for them, or when they feel that they are lonely, mm. they, you know, they become just because they want attention or just because they also want you know, to communicate mm. they go on social media now, the intention such people have is already as in a, is already faulty now somebody who just wants to catch his phone mm. what benefit, as in what will the person, and there are some, like you said, there are some manipulators there are some people with uh, for instance, especially in this uh, political time, mm. you see all manner of things. Mr. A will be interviewed. Mr. A will speak his mind freely. And somebody, a, a technology somewhere, mm. an ICT expert as, mm. as well, will manipulate the video <laughs> and say, ha! If you see the hand of Mr. A, see when he was even talking. Maybe is someone like me that like to you know express yes, yes, yes. they say ah see his hand he's just shaking like this he's just shaking like this <laughs> and you know there are people some are there mm. to pull down others some are there to lift to support and honestly this is a good time to if we observe very well our politicians know how to get get at each other as if uh, party A is study party B mm. Looking for the fourth of party, you understand? So that they can, you know, it's just like it. So many persons, also, especially the younger generation. Mm. Uh, 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 there is this guy called uh, Eleno, Latin Eleno. You understand? If you, even if you, you are good looking, this guy, I don't know how he does his posters. He will just bring a mouth <laughs> from nowhere. Very, uh, from nowhere, a very big mouth. <laughs> and by the time you see your head. And the shape of the mouth is now changed. You say, ah, me. <laughs> there are some like that. To him, he's catching his phone. Okay. That now, uh, we operate this media with our fingers. Exactly. And what we are used to is devils mm -hmm. looks for idle hands. Mm -hmm. I was they could identify one or two ideal hands somewhere, they get it engaged. Exactly. I remember going out one evening. About six, seven, four of us were there. And somebody just said, before anything here this evening, this is a phone free phone time. Please. Let's go and drop our phone inside the car. Mm. Mm. Because you will be at a garden and you see somebody sitting down. Mm. By the time he's coming to participate in what you are discussing, mm. he's talking out of context. Mm. Mm. Because he's not following what you are saying. Mm. Mm. And some people, mm. we use the word manipulators. Mm. Mm. They are always there to see your faults. Mm. Mm. Maybe we are here now. If they want to deal with us, 
they will just pick one or two of our lines and say same eh? rewriting our statements and do the subject analysis that he is using a wrong verb somewhere this man is supposed not to be here and they will be advising the management we don't want to see his face again giving my dog or your own dog a name that does not belong to you all in the way that they don't want to see you here again or that they will quote us and go and report us to somebody see them who they are discussing you we still on intention of people that are coming on the platform if I write something that will affect your being how do I feel Mm. Where is my conscience? Mm. 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 Today, mm. two billion naira was found in somebody's bedroom. Mm. Mm. Maybe there was a time I was looking for something, mm. and somebody just captured it, mm. and they would say, "See, mm. police are on his trail." Mm. Mm. Why do we do all this? Mm. 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 Thank you, sir. Why? Thank you, sir. Like uh, I, it's just like what we have been saying. Mm. People have different, you know, intentions. Intentions. Okay, use it again. Exactly. <laughs> like there are some, they are there to look for husband. <laughs> there are some they are there to look for wife. Mm. And in fact, it's now common. Once you are a beautiful lady, mm. if you are on Facebook, especially. Somebody will just send you a message. I beautiful. I angel. Mm -hmm. You know, I I I I I have a friend, a police officer. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, but why are you not on Facebook? He said, No, 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 no. For that Facebook, I hate Facebook. I close it. Everybody, all top, 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 and dick or whatever. Okay, as in, virtually everybody, those who deserve you or not, you understand? Mm -hmm. Everybody will just, you know we be harassing you you understand that sexually facebook it's it it but there are ways i can control it Make, yes sir. you understand all right sir go to settings hmm. there are portions where you'll be asked who says hmm. what you post hmm. and i'll say my friend hmm. others will say the general public hmm. Mm. And I should know, I should control who becomes my friend. Sir, you are now bringing it to the level of our people's literacy. Okay? Now, what you don't know, you can't, you can't do it. Uh -huh. Now, virtually everybody now believes that. Once you buy your phone, uh -huh. once you buy an Android phone, uh -huh. Android phone, or uh, uh, what do we call it, uh, the other uh, iPhone, iPhone, you can easily... Some people will not bother to even read, to even check their setting yeah. or any other. Everybody want to. Yeah, some people don't even know that. Some of some, some of these things they have their own rules. They don't. They don't know that once you log in, uh, you agree to abide by the rules. That guys of, the operation. Exactly. And the worst part of it, sir. Talking of intentions, sir. Mm. Do you know that of late? Uh, if as we as we are speaking, it it was just coming to my mind. Mm. You know that. Uh, the some teenagers mm. were caught. Uh, uh, some in a uh, Ogo State or somewhere in Ogo State. Mm. Um, uh, they kill uh, their girlfriend. Mm. They cut the hair. They burn it. Mm. They said they uh, they lent it on uh, Facebook. On Facebook. Facebook. And they arrested some guests, mm. teenagers as well, secondary school mm. in Lagos. They were going to school, and they went ahead. To, I do, we don't know where or how they got heads, but because of the odor, you know, odor the driver that carried them reported them to the, to the school security. But when they searched their bag, they found human head. And when they asked them, they said eh, they lent it on their Facebook. Now, talking of purpose, talking of intention, okay, why are these children on? I have seen teenagers whose reason of you know uh using android phone is just to mm. gain more knowledge you understand i have a young 
a young girl. I will say, Daddy, please, can I use your phone? They give me an assignment in the school. Mm. And you understand? But they are as some. As good as some are good mm. or have good intentions, some are bad. And now it's now very common. If I, if I have my way, mm. some, truly some content mm. needs to be prohibited. Okay. Now, I, I remember in 2020, yes, when COVID came ravaging the world, school said, okay, you can be at home, I will continue mm. our lessons. Yeah, there was this small box that I have for my children at home. You can call, you can receive call. And before then, if you need to read anything at all, they will use my own phone or my wife's phone. But when that instruction came, parents, get your children a phone that they can be using for their lessons. Mm -hmm. I bought one. Okay. <laughs> this thing I'm giving you, boy, <laughs> girl, strictly for this purpose. Mm -hmm. And there were some settings mm -hmm. that would restrict them mm -hmm. from going beyond mm -hmm. what the phone was meant for. Mm -hmm. Some settings, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said mm. many people didn't know. Yes, sir. Mm. They don't care to know. They don't care to know. Mm. They are too much in a hurry. Mm. Mm. No, I got an iPhone. Mm. I just want to be there. And they want they want to operate on him that. <laughs> some of us that took some money from our banks. <laughs> we will realize that. There are so many times we say agree. <laughs> we just put our signature. Yes, sir. Uh, and when the bank will start the operation, oh, well. sir, but I didn't the know. doctor did the, ah. When you go to them to go and complain, he said, ah, for all these things we said to you, and you say you agree. <laughs> we will say compound plus clinical. We yeah. are together. If you delay in payment, mm. Mm. one day I think I was off, mm. and I was looking for something, and I picked. A copy of such agreement. It was then when I was reading that I saw all these things there. That come, come on, shoot it for where are they? You don't want to boss on Sir, if you going to talk to our people, they must take time. And if you cannot read well, can you please ask questions? From those who can read. Because mm. <clears throat> when the law catches up with you, mm. there won't be any explanation. Yeah, exactly. Because there's no ignorance in law. Exactly. exactly. You may not be the originator, mm. Mm. but you are one of the broadcasters. Mm. You receive a message mm. without reading through the content, mm. you have put it on air. Mm. Mm. Talk mm. to people now. Mm. Mm. That they should find out what they don't know mm. before doing what they don't know, yes, and what will put them in trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Um, honestly, uh, that that that's a very uh, wonderful advice from uh, Daddy here. Um, whatever we don't know, we better ask from those who have ideas. Uh, of course, uh, we can't all uh, be masters in all feet. Um, sir, uh, do you know that, uh, well, back to intention, mm. do you know that there are some, there are fraudsters even on social media? As well, people like Shaq Lowe. They are everywhere. When you apply for their loan, you will be so surprised that they already violated your privacy. They, they, how they got access to all your contacts. How they got access to you, both on social media, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on social media, even your private contact. You're surprised. There, there, there are so many, there are so many uh, loan platform now. Exactly. I think the first time 
I received a message like this was when I engaged a winner mm. to work for me. Mm. And because of the distance, we exchanged number. We contacted you. And all of a sudden, I received a message. <laughs> and they quoted his name. <laughs> Tell Mr. A, B, and Z <laughs> that he should come and repay the loan he took from, he took from us. <laughs> That one is even nice. <laughs> and if you will not come to pay back, okay. we are coming for you. For you. Ah. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I called my <laughs> wife. I didn't stand as a character <laughs> for anybody now. <laughs> I think I discovered somebody I said, and the person asked me if my number is on that person's phone. And I said, yes. <laughs> Who is he? I said this a welder somewhere that I engaged to do something for me. I don't know him beyond that. And I was waiting for him to deliver the job and I will delete his number. Except if I need his services again. So he said maybe it's via that that they got my number. Exactly. And I called him. Alakuri. You took loan from so so place. He said yes. <laughs> Have you paid back? He said no. <laughs> and why are they now sending messages to me <laughs> to that me. I tell you? Or they will come for me if you don't pay back. He said, about that one loan, Gary. <laughs> These are being responses of people. Yes. And then after when I got something like that again, mm. what I would say is I will send message to them because mm. their number is there. Mm. And also hello man. Mm. When you are giving that loan, mm. you don't invite me. Mm. check his papers mm. I didn't stand as a guarantor mm. I know you got my number mm. via his contact mm. desist mm. if you will not stop this mm. I will call the number mm. so definitely mm. they will know that mm. I already have their number mm. except they don't register yeah. with mm. and I yeah, exactly. I, I will tell them that I will prosecute you exactly. so thereafter what happened the day before you down mm. Mm. Two days ago, mm. something like that happened, and I sent such a message. Mm. I, I, I am so sure that individuals, mm. we need a job, we have something to do. Exactly. What is it that we need to do? Uh, well, um, number one, uh, we have to be uh, extremely careful, wary of uh, uh, frosters. Frosters. And apart from that, um, we also must be mindful of the fact that uh, social media is not safe it's not safe it's not safe um nine, let me let me say most persons with negative intention there mm. they violate people's privacy and uh, those ones to need uh, those who violate people's privacy also need to know that there are laws and there are laws one of the constitutional rights of every nigerian mm. is right to privacy, to privacy. Uh, even to those uh, involved in uh, all these uh, shark or those, they have to understand that you can't just you can't just be uh, violating people's privacy. Loan is a contract on its own. It's between two people. It's civil contract. Or five. And if the person default, there are lay down rules governing recovery of oh, loans. Yes. So you don't involve people who are not parties to that agreement. Let, let, let me match your tongue, guy. Yeah. Some families, if they are wearing a new clothes, they are going out for a birthday party on my way to Ikeja Airport, <laughs> on my way to Sozo Airport. And before they come back, some people are on their own. They, they, they yeah, are trying. Exactly. Tell them, mm. we need to be mindful of our. Uh, Exactly. Activity on the children. God bless sir. Honestly, we need we need we need to be careful. We need to be careful. We have to be security conscious. Best security lies in fear. Best security lies, lies in, in fear. fear. And if we believe that ah, uh, the same way I have a transparent and innocent mind mm. is the same way that no, things no, are not like that at all, at all, at all. Let's match our tongues here. This is where we're going to put a stop to our discussion here this morning. We do hope we have picked one or two things that, yeah, it's a free world. But the way you live your life 
is the way you want to live your life. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Don't let any other person rule your word for you. Mm. Mm. Mr. Badger, I thank you for coming on the program this morning. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. And now uh, to my colleagues in the studio, I thank you. Thank you, sir. I want to say thank you to you on behalf of our producer, Olushola Ogunaye, and the executive producer, Jola Ade Ibarola. My name is Ola Sukomi Oibayo. Thanking God that it's another Friday. Let's go home and have a break for Saturday and Sunday. I will be back here on Monday for another edition of this program. Until then, have a wonderful weekend. Alexandria, a game worthy enough of being the final itself of the Total Africa Cup of Nations. It's a round of 16 clash. Nigeria taking on Cameroon. Another hot day here on the Mediterranean coast, but lots of breeze today. It's a 6 p.m. local kickoff. Uh, pretty soon the whole pitch will be covered in shade. So all round are decent conditions for the players. And the pitch once again is in superb condition. Samuel Eto and Wanko Kanu are here as their two famous teams, titans of African football, go head to head today. It's Goldwood, but just straight into the wall. Poorly done. Still openings here though, Waziyem, Omeruo! Still coming there, Akala! Sadione Carlo with his second goal of the tournament. And it's a big goal. So Musa put that straight into the wall, comes back to him, makes him ends really well. Awazian came up for it, Omer Ruo put it over. Adiani Carlo, he's the goal poacher. That's what he does. It did uh, come off the body of Yaya Banana, but he couldn't stop it. The China base centre forward makes it Nigeria 1, Cameroon 0. Chopo Muting, Vasagog, they're showing more attacking thrust now. Bahuken! Stefan Bahuken! Who's hardly had a meaningful touch of the ball has leveled five minutes At home and welcome to Friday's morning edition of AM Sports on OSBC Television. My name is Adeyemi. I bought any a lot to talk about in the sporting world this beautiful morning. The finals of the Waffle B Under 17 Championship currently ongoing in Cape Coast, Ghana. We come up today, 8:30 p.m. Nigerian time. Will be when the finals will be decided and uh, the golden eagles of nigeria who are true to the finals of the championship as well as picking one of the two tickets from the zone to the african cup of nations under 17 championship in algeria will be taking on the junior stallions of burkina faso tonight in the final game and uh, the coach of the team unduka ubade has promised that the team will not be distracted in picking the gold medals in the finals. Today, to reach the finals, the Golden Eaglet defeated the defending champions, Cote d'Ivoire, junior elephant of Cote d'Ivoire, by three goals to one, while Burkina Faso walloped the host nation, Black Starlet, by a long goal to be in the finals of the championship and uh, it will be the first finals of the new coach of uh, the team Unduka Ubadi and uh, we pray and the NFL also they have also appealed to the team to ensure 
the to the nation proud. Don't forget, Undu Kalubade was the captain of uh, the eaglets when they won the first edition, the maiden edition of the FIFA Under 17 World Cup in China in 1985. It was then known as Kodak FIFA Under 16 World Cup and is in charge now as the coach and we want to put it on record to win the championship as a player and as a coach. So we are wishing the team in Cape Coast, Ghana, the best of luck today when they confront the junior stallions of Burkina Faso in the finals of the Wafu B Zone Under 17 Championship tonight. And stay talking about Under 17 Championship. This time around, the draws for the FIFA Under 17 Women's World Cup, which will come up in India, will come up tonight at the FIFA's headquarters in 